Well, Xander, mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and unbox this uh, Pioneer dual leg power meter. There, this is the latest version that comes with um, Bluetooth and uh, Ant support. Um, there's two ways that you can get this power meter. One is if you get you buy the crank, or you buy it with the crank already installed on it, or you can buy the kit, which uh, just comes with the um, power meter bits, and then you send in your crank to Pioneer to have them install it and calibrate it and everything. Um, of the two, I think the kit is the better value, um, but I really wanted a Durace crank, and I knew that if I put the power meter on my El Tigo crank, I would never get a Durace crank. So I uh, did something which was not a terribly good value, but I got the crank I, I was planning to get eventually anyway. And, you know, in general, Durace cranks are not a great val value anyway. You get them because they're light. Uh, what else do we have in here? Okay, so here's the, that was the right side crank. Here's the left side crank. Here is, I don't know what this is. It looks like this is where the power meter bits would be. Because if you get the kit, it comes in the same box. Um, and then you send your crank off Pioneer. Uh, this is probably where those things would have sat otherwise. This looks like the uh, magnet installation template. Uh, you shouldn't need these unless you want to use the um, more advanced uh, private ant uh, features, which I do, but I, I'm going to test it first as a um, just a, a standard power meter and uh, see how it behaves in, the, in uh, that mode. Because you need to have a Wahoo computer or Pioneer computer in order to get the, the extra sauce that you get from a Pioneer meter. Although that extra sauce is one of the reasons why I bought the Pioneer meter instead of some of the other options that I was considering. Uh, looks like that's pretty much all there is to that. Let's go ahead and weigh this thing. So the right side with the preload is 4.93, and then let's. All the way. Let's go ahead and add on the left side. Pop the preload in there. I don't know if you can see that, but it says uh, 6.91, and then I just happen to have another Durace crank over here of the same size and that's 622 so what is that 80 no 69 I'm bad at math uh, I'll do get a calculator we'll figure it out later <laughs> all right so now the next step is to get this installed on the bike and um, assuming you don't have a crank iron installed that's a pretty easy thing
So I've had a chance to ride the bike once without um, adding in the magnets. And the cadence uh, and power work fine in uh, standard ant mode. But in order to get the extra bits of um, Pioneer Magic from the power meter, you do need to install these so that you can do the calibration and get the um, uh, efficiency numbers and things like that. Uh, the way that you do that is there's a template over here that you use to kind of install, figure out where to put the, the magnets. And the ideal location is right here on the um, uh, non drive side chain stay. But there's actually not enough space. There's not enough space between the uh, strain gauge and battery assembly on the left crank arm here and this thing here for the magnet to fit without making contact and rubbing against the um, this uh, plastic bit here. Uh, so the other location where they recommend to do it is either here or here. Um, but because of the way that my bike is laid out, um, it's not possible to just kind of stick it there because it's this is too far away from the um, sensor. They, they only want 10 millimeters and this is about, well, let's have a look. It's about 18, so not ideal. Um, now, they did supply some little pads in the um, kit, and I assume that the purpose of these pads is to kind of like make space here, or take up space here. So I'm going to try that and see what that gives me. So that's 14, so I think I'm going to have to use both of these to kind of get it out far enough that everything lines up and it works. So I'm going to go ahead and um, take the crank arm off here, use the template to make sure it lines up properly, tape it down with some electrical tape before we're sticking everything on and seeing if it works. So that's actually a little bit just outside. I think it's supposed to be 10.6. Oh, 10.7. But I think we'll roll with it and see what happens. Let's go do the uh, right side.
don't have a lot of confidence that it's going to stay there. So I'm going to just put this electrical tape back in there.